The Drug Education Network provides resources and information for the whole Tasmanian community to prevent the harm caused by alcohol, tobacco and other drugs. These resources can be used to start conversation and also help to address stigma and discrimination from substance use. The resources can be really great to help start conversations and there's a whole range of resources on the CODE website and so resources are available for everyone in the community. So that could be a family member or it could be an alcohol and drug worker. So they can go and find that information. It can help them in their work or it can help with having a conversation with a loved one as well. The value cards are a really great resource and they were originally developed by the University of New Mexico and then updated those and adapted them for, for a drug and alcohol context. And the value cards can be used as a tool to think about and identify the values that are really important to you. And so what that means is that people can use that to think about their values in relation to their health and wellbeing and to think about their substance use. So an alcohol and drug worker could use the values cards or an individual could do that as well, just to think about what's really important to me and how do my values align with my health and wellbeing choices, for example. In terms of using the values cards, if you check out the DEN website on the resources page, the values cards has a really handy video that you can watch and that can step you through the process of actually using the cards. The Possibilities Pack is a tool that's been developed specifically for alcohol and drug workers to use in brief interventions or motivational interviewing. And what it does is it helps to guide conversations with a person around their substance use. And there's some printable worksheets that workers can print off and use as a map to talk about issues with a person right now, or they might want to think about issues from the past or the goals they have for the future. So the possibilities help that person to explore what might be different or what they might want to change around their substance use. The Storytelling Dice is a really great resource and we've used that quite a lot in school drug education settings. And what it does is it allows conversations to happen in a much more playful and creative way. So roll the dice, talk about a particular drug, build a story around that. So we've used that with school students to think about harm reduction around substance use, for example. So they get to explore that through a storytelling mechanism and it really helps with that learning and exploration of the topic. The advantage of the storytelling dice is it really does get conversations going. So if people might be feeling a little bit stuck, that uh, tool can be really useful to sort of unpack and explore in a more creative way. The More Options for Managing Pain resource was developed as a way of educating community members around pain medications, what to be aware of in terms of how to use those pain medications safely, raising awareness around some of the side effects and risks of pain medications, like overdose for example, and giving people some understanding around other options that they can add to, to be able to manage their pain better. The Rough Guide to Standard Drinks is a tool that we developed to really assist people to understand what is a standard drink. And often when people are drinking alcohol, they're not really paying attention to how many standard drinks are in the bottle of wine or the beer that they might be drinking. So the Rough Guide has information where they can apply that to what they're drinking and better understand how many standard drinks are in that beverage. So we've found that alcohol and drug workers find that really useful in having conversations with clients that they're working with just to help them better understand the levels of alcohol they might be consuming. It's also really great for community members as well if they want to raise awareness and have better understanding and better track how much alcohol they're drinking. People can visit the DEN website and if they check the resources page, that's a place where they can check out all the resources, order online, and digitally download some resources as well. Or people can call the office or email and request hard copies to be mailed out to them. So the Drug Education Network has produced a number of resources for alcohol and drug workers, support workers, social workers, 
that they can use in supporting clients that they're working with. So if they check out the website, um, those resources have been categorised in terms of being able to provide that support for clients and they can offer information around how to have do a brief intervention, um, how to undertake motivational interviewing um, and, and how to raise awareness when they're working with a client in terms of their substance use and what impacts it's having on their health and wellbeing. Mm -hmm.